Hi, I'm Roman and this is Massive Voodoo TV. In this video I will show you how I kit bashed my regular Grey Knights with Primaris Marines. I will do a Strike Squad of 5 and an Interceptor Squad of 5. Enjoy! I really tried to make this video very interesting, but from my point of view, it's almost just like removing mold lines. In the video prior to this, I showed you how to create Grey Knights um, in Terminator armor with an easy conversion that works really well and uses the new Leviathan Terminators. You can find the link below. This one is easy as well, and focuses mainly on the dynamics of the two squads in their lighter armor. As I'm building up a small Grey Knight force, I also was not happy about the regular Grey Knight looks, and I wanted to change them. I'm still hammering away time for the gaming table. This is a super big gaming table that I built together with Johannes in the studio. It will be epic beyond imagination. You do not want to miss out on this. Subscribe to the channel and get all the information about the upcoming Epic Gaming Table by the Massive Voodoo guys. Subscribe now. And if you have a thumb or two, put them high in the sky, upwards. Here's a quick insight on what I used. I used a box of a Grey Knight Strike Squad. There are 10 inside and I needed 5 for each unit. One day I will make them bigger, but this is right now for a good start, it's, it's all I need. A mixture from Assault Marines and regular standing intercessors. But I also used one Stern Guard and one Black Templar body for the conversion of the Justicar. I'm also not using the heads of the regular Grey Knights, I don't like them so much. I decided to go through my bits box and find different heads, also for the helmets. As in my, in my vision, um, the armory on Titan uses really old stuff, ancient stuff, very important stuff, so that this can be a mixture. And that's also what I read in books of, of the lore of Grey Knights. Here and there, I found a Grey Knight helmet that fit. Very important for me with the dynamics, and I will speak about these very soon. From the tools, you actually need just the same that I used in the prior video. You need some blades, I explained them in the earlier video, and your clippers and super glue, toothpick maybe, green stuff, that's it. Like I said, with these two squads it was mainly about cleaning mold lines and not gluing your fingers together. In the next part I will show you the conversion and kit bash work I did for both squads and explain a little bit here and there, but to be honest it wasn't that complicated. But I think what is more important in this case is also my ideas and thoughts about the two squads. I can tell you a little bit about the thoughts and ideas I had while you see me cleaning all these mold lines. For the strike squad I went with regular intercessor marine legs. My strike squad should be standing their ground and be ready for the fight, shooting and facing the enemy, almost as the regular Grey Knights. For my intercessor squad I decided to use the legs of assault marines to just make them feel like running and just, just getting out of an explosive aggressive teleport, hitting the enemy and then be gone in a second and doing the, all, the same all over the place. Like boom boom, bam bam. For the conversion I basically on both squads I used the legs of primaris marines and the torsi of the grey knights. Of course, the volume of the Grey Knight torsies are a little bit smaller, but I knew I can handle this issue with the big shoulders, the arms and everything, the weaponry and all that stuff that I bring to the, to the chest piece. When I do conversion work, I like to be a very organized person. Therefore, I clipped out the parts from the spruce that I need. Clip, clip, Primaris, clip, clip, Grey Knights, clip, clip, glued everything on the legs of the Primaris. Then I was cleaning mold lines again because I found some more. 
if I had Primaris bodies with the torso piece attached, I destroyed that with my clippers, removed that. Very close cut on the belt. For one sergeant of my strike squad, I left the torso with the eagle. Like I said, I'm organized, that's why I organized myself. Put everything in place. I then glued the granite torsi together, all of them. When it comes to backpacks, I just used one Primaris backpack for my Justicar. And for the other guys, I used regular granite backpacks. This is also a small trick to make the torsi fit in proportions to the upper body part. And again, mold lines. This time I was using a scale modeling um, sandpaper sponge that is beautiful to remove mold lines from round surfaces. You can find them in scale modeling equipment. And again, mold lines. Mold lines once again. There is just one tricky spot when you want to glue the torsi to the bodies. It's at the belt. So usually at the Primaris belt, you have to cut out um, the belt bucket with your hobby blade. I use the one with that I can push with force and carefully get this out. And then the torsi with the belt, um, with the circled belt piece of the granites will fit easily. There was a small gap between the hip and the chest piece and I filled this gap with green stuff or some material like stuff that the Grey Knights need in battle or that wants to confuse me while I paint them. In fact, I used it to hide things. This piece from the Primaris, from the hips of, and the armor, was really helpful in hiding things too. I was running out of very cool golden shoulder pads of the Grey Knights, so I was using the one from the Death Watch and I don't personally care about the lore. I use them and paint them as for Grey Knights just with the Inquisition symbol. I don't mind. You can blame me for that, but it's not heresy. I glued the bodies with the backpacks on the bases and then finally was able to do the cool stuff, add the arms, the weaponry, the, f the helmets and the faces and give them character and poses. Final touch-ups with green stuff here and there. Just using a toothpick, keeping the simple and not a sculptor. Then did a quick basing like I did with the Terminators with some soil and some rubble and some skulls. There we go. When it comes to dynamic posing, mainly the legs and the arms work together. That's what most of the people think. But the face and the direction of the view of the figure is also important. So don't build a figure that shoots in one direction but looks in another. Because if you shoot something, you look at it. Also try to understand the swing, the full swing of the, the legs and the movement to apply the weaponry appropriate. It's hard to explain just in theory, but what I want to say is think about what you do. Don't just glue it somewhere. For me, it was important to have my regular grey nets unique and also um, bigger than the original ones. So they fit to my bigger Terminators. Terminator.
two tiny elite squads built. More will come, I'm sure. These data cards really helped me. In the next video, I will speak about the conversions and kit bash I did for my Inquisitor and also for his retween, retween, not, so, not an easy word, routine, retween. Okay, there we go, tattooing. All right, um, I also tried to film parts of the painting process so far. Um, I'm not so good with painting under the camera. It's really hard for me to hold steady and whatsoever, but I gave it a try. I'm not sure yet. I kind of finished one of the Granite Terminators to just find out where this will go and how my steps work. Um, I will also take photos beside and cannot promise if I will do a PDF for explanation because it's easier for me in writing and showing photos. Maybe doing a small side video about the process, but I really cannot paint under the camera properly. Not yet. I'm not trained in this. Apologies. The future will show where this will go. Stay tuned. I will definitely paint mine as grimdark as I can. Yeah, by the way, if you are interested in my process, you can check back with um, some tutorials and ebooks I wrote for you. You can find them in the link below in my Etsy shop and there you can learn with me. And if you are a collector of painted miniatures, you can also check back with my catalog. I do sell some of the ones I painted. Thank you for your support. It's really appreciated. And thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you like the conversions and who's your, which one is your favorite of these um, 10 Grey Knights. And yeah, keep on happy painting. Roman out. Bye bye. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up this is a nice brush but where are the colors not a native speaker i'm sorry i am you have to understand i'm not a native speaker and sometimes English is hard for me. I'll be back.